It's that time again this Tuesday morning, another edition of Table Talk, where we go county to county in the coastal bend, 12 in all, to find out what you are talking about. And this morning, the talk centers around one woman and something many of us can relate to, family, a job, an uncertain future. And then there's one more thing. This woman is on the front lines during the pandemic. So we're off to San Diego now. That's the county seat in both Duval and Jim Wells counties. And that's where we begin the conversation. In the city of San Diego, time pretty much stands still. A one-time important shipping center for livestock and agriculture right along the Texas Mexican Railway. But now with the pandemic, things have gotten even quieter. And here at the popular Tex-Mex Cafe, these days, no dining in. Instead, just drive through service only. And that's where we met Lydia Lichtenberger. What's the biggest thing on your mind right now? Um, all the work I have. Typically working 12 hours a day, six days a week, this native of San Diego, a physician liaison for the last 17 years. And how difficult that is that at a time like this? Oh, it's pretty difficult. With the COVID, it's, it's hard. Four COVID-19 tests later, Lydia continues to test negative, even when she has to go into people's homes, not knowing beforehand if they have the virus. I like doing what I do. I love being around, helping people and everything. And not just helping people during the pandemic. I don't know, it comes out of my heart. I can't walk away or turn my back on anybody that needs help. Like her parents, her three kids, and her grandkids, but it was her mother who influenced her the most. Where, where did you get all this compassion? I took care of my mom for 30 years. What was it about your mother that makes you a stronger person today? I guess she taught me to be strong. She was a fighter, she was a survivor. She was a very loving, caring mother. She was always helping people. She was always there for anybody who needed her. And it's that strength from her mother that's gotten her through some of the most difficult times, not only in her life, but throughout her career, especially when it comes to helping the dying pass on. Most people can only imagine what it's like to hold the hand of a person as they're dying in hospice. You've done it countless times. Yes, I have. How is it that you're so strong? I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. I guess because I care. And whenever Lydia feels like giving up, she says there's always something or someone pushing her forward. What keeps you going every day? The feeling of accomplishment. I believe a lot in God. I think God is the one that's helping me. And at 66 years young, Lydia certainly has no plans on giving up anytime soon. If you could change your life in any way, would you? No. No. Why not? I'm happy doing what I'm doing right now. As for being a frontline worker during the pandemic. I don't think there's an end, there's going to be an end anytime soon to this. Uh, but people need to know that there's people that care and that are that are still out there to help them. People like Lydia who say she'll work until her very last day. How would you like to be remembered? I really hadn't, haven't thought about that. I'm too busy with everything that I have to do, yes. I mean, I really never think about me. Now we're nearing the home stretch of our 12 county tour. Hard to believe it, two counties left. That's Jim Hogg and Brooks. So where should we go next to find some good food and even some better conversation? Let me know. You can interact with me on all the social media you see right there on your screen. And of course, you can always send me an email. The address right there on the bottom of your screen, paul.mueller at christv.com.